Hey squad, welcome back. Now, one of the most important aspects of the whole business of music production, mixing and mastering is the process of good stereo imaging. And that's what we're gonna be focused on today. Now we're going to be looking at five different tools, processes or plugins that can be used to really enhance your stereo imaging. Some of these are free, some are native to Logic and others are paid for. But we're gonna try out different types of material and explore the benefits of using these tools to enhance your overall production project. Now remember, if you think I'm bringing you value from this free YouTube video, why not take a minute to like the video, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already done so, and drop me a comment. Remember, your engagement goes a long way in helping to support my channel to grow, so I really appreciate you taking a minute to do that. Anyway, let's get into it. So the five processes that we're going to be looking at today include, firstly, Logic's spreader plugin which is a great tool and i've covered in the past um, it's one of the gems you'd find native to logic the logic stereo spread plugin which i haven't uh, covered before but we'll touch on today we'll also look at isotopes free stereo imager the ozone imager 2 which you can download absolutely free and a link will be in the description we'll also be looking at the waves S1 Imager, which has been around forever. And this too is a great tool, which is used by top professionals when it comes to mixing and mastering. And finally, we'll look at the Ozone 9 Imager, which is the one I pretty much use on every single one of my masters. Before we get into these tools, let me explain to you exactly why it's important that a good stereo image of your production is created. Now, consider you're at a bar or some sort of club um, where live music is being played and you're sitting dead centre in a great position, taking in the performance of the band. Now, the chances are the band is going to be spread across the stage and the sound coming from the band is going to envelop you. It's going to surround you. Some elements, maybe the guitar is going to be on the more on the left hand side, the piano might be on the on the right, the bass sound will somehow be coming to you more central, as well as the kick drum and the snare. And you want to create that same sort of audio picture in your production in your mixes. Now the very first stage in building that stereo picture or image starts with panning. So let's look at that first. So as I demonstrated recently in a video on Nectar, I've got some vocals right here, some background vocals, all of these tracks right here. And what I've done is I've created a bit of a stereo image. Let's say everything started in the center, like so. Gotta keep your feet on the ground and keep your eyes to the Let's start ground. there and then move to the next one. Gotta keep your feet on the ground and keep your eyes okay, I'm creating a stereo image. I'm creating some width here between the uh, vocal elements. Gotta keep your feet on the ground and keep your eyes to the clouds. No time to mess around because the Lord is coming. Stop what you're doing now. Or there's no okay, so you start by creating some subtle changes with your elements. Just again, try to picture that I've got one, two, three, four, five individual singers standing on stage. They're not all going to be standing in a straight line facing me. If I'm sitting in the audience, they're going to be spread across the stage. So thinking those terms, think how will the performers, the vocalists, background vocalists be standing? The same principle applies to musical instruments as well. Okay, so let me show you real quick what I'm talking about in terms of panning your instruments. So let's play this back. As you can see, we've got the French horns panned left and right. We've got some strings here. We've got trumpets. Now all of this panning is done to create a sense that this was performed live and musicians were spread across the stage and you do that via the pan pots on the individual channels 
That's the first stage. We're going to be using, of course, the stereo imaging tools to further enhance that. So let's get down to that bit. Okay, so let's start testing out some of these plugins on some vocals, some background vocals, which have been panned, all right? So the first one we're gonna use is Logic Spreader plugin, which you'll find under Modulation and Spreader. Now, all of these vocals have been bussed to this BV bus right here, so everything that goes through will be processed by this single processor. Gotta keep your feet on the ground and keep your eyes to the clouds. No time to mess around. Cause the Lord is coming Stop what you're doing now Or there's no hope to be found Right, now the spreader tool does actually work. It does kind of give you a broader, a wider stereo image. However, I don't actually like using it on vocals. Um, unless I'm doing, say, rap vocals, and I want to use the doubler preset, where you can create a sense of the actual vocal being double tracked, that's where I would use it from time to time. When it comes to sung vocals, I don't really like the way this plugin actually colors the sound. I do, however, use it for, to create a broader, a wider stereo image on instruments, um, drums, for example, and other elements that are uh, quite mono, but on vocals, I'm not really gonna be using it so much for that. So let's forget about that one. Let's move to the next one in our list, which is Logic's Stereo Spread, and that can be found under Imaging, Stereo Spread. Gotta keep your feet on the ground and keep your eyes to the clouds. Now, right off the bat, that's creating some stereo spread. Let's kind of come through and explore some of these presets real quick. Gotta keep your feet on the ground and keep your eyes to the clouds. No time to mess around. Yeah, that's sounding pretty cool. How about this one right here? Gotta keep your feet on the ground and keep your eyes to the clouds. No time to yeah, that's nice and subtle, that one is. So this here is a quite an effective tool and can be used not only on vocals, but also on your instruments as well. Okay, so this one here is a really good one. This one is um, the Ozone Imager 2, which is completely free to download from Isotope. And let's just play that back real quick. Gotta keep your feet on the ground. And keep your eyes to the clouds No time to mess around Cause the Lord is coming Stop what you're doing now Or there's no hope to be found If you just look around You know the Lord is coming Right, now this is really, really cool because what you get is a far more subtle, less aggressive um, approach to the stereo imaging and it feels a far more realistic than the logic approach. By increasing the width here, uh, that creates a wider stereo image. If we went in the opposite direction, we'd actually narrow the picture and create a more mono image of the panned sections. So you can use it to either widen the stereo image or narrow things so they sound a bit more mono. Now the S1 image, uh, like I said earlier, is a classic and it's been around for absolutely forever and it's developed by Waves Audio. And this here is often used by mastering engineers, but we can also use it in the mix. So let's just play that back. Gotta keep your feet on the ground and keep your eyes to the clouds. No time to mess around cause the Lord is coming. Stop what you're doing now or there's no hope to be found. If you just look around you know the Lord is coming. Gotta keep your feet on the ground And keep your eyes to the clouds No time to mess around Cause the Lord is coming Stop what you're doing now Very effective indeed. You've got a few parameters here that you can mess with. The width, the asymmetry and the rotation. And by adjusting these to your taste to create the sort of picture, the image that you're looking for, this is very, very effective. I'm doing this on background vocals because this is a really 
useful way to demonstrate the process, but you can definitely use this on not just backgrounds, you can use it on drums and instruments and such. Okay, so we're now switching to the Ozone 9 Imager. And this is, of course, a far more sophisticated tool. And we can do a far more detailed stereo image spread. We can split the signal into four bands. We've got some really good metering up here and over here. And we're going to start by using a preset. Let's go for, say, modern width, something like that. Gotta keep your feet on the ground and keep your eyes to the clouds. No time to mess around. Cause the Lord is coming Stop what you're doing now Or there's no hope to be found If you just look around You know the Lord is coming Again, very subtle. I mean, uh, this is a really, really nice tool. It works in a very transparent way and it feels very natural as well. Let's try another preset. Gotta keep your feet on the ground and keep your eyes to the clouds No time to mess around Cause the Lord is coming Stop what you're doing now Or there's no hope to be found If you just look around You know the Lord is coming Okay, so a really effective tool Just on these backgrounds on a bus Okay, so finally, let's try these tools out on a mix, on the master bus of a mix. Now, as you can see, I've got Ozone 9 already installed here, doing a number of things, but the imager is actually disabled for now, okay? So, although it plugin is switched in, um, we're not having any imaging from that. So let's start with the spreader. Now, the, the spreader definitely does add width to this mix. However, the way things are being modulated between the left and right speakers, I'm not really feeling it. So I wouldn't, again, use the spreader on my master bus unless I'm doing something which requires some very obvious effect. I'd leave the spreader out and use it in more specific cases rather than on the master bus. Now let's switch in the stereo spread plugin. Yes, this definitely adds something in terms of spreading out the different frequencies between the left and right ends of the stereo spectrum. And it's actually quite effective. I really don't use this tool at all because I've got um, Ozone 9 and the imager in there, which makes sense for me. If you've got Logic and you want to create a bit more of a wider stereo picture, then look at the stereo spread plugin. Now for the S1 imager, let's, let's see what this has to offer. Again, it's, you do it to taste, but it's definitely having a nice widening impact on the mix. 
Now this one is definitely one to look out for because from time to time waves do crazy discounts and as you can see right here it's reduced from 129 to 29.99. Okay, so we're going to round things off with these last two Ozone plugins. Like I said, this is the free version, which you can download right now, free of charge. A link will be in the description. And let's hear what results we get by putting it across the master bus. Now that makes an absolutely massive difference to the overall sound in a positive way. Okay, it really brings out some of those higher frequencies and spreads things out really nicely to sort of surround you and envelop you. I'm using headphones for this demonstration, but for my use of these tools in a studio environment, I experience a very similar effect. So this one is definitely something you might want to consider um, downloading. So now we're going to switch in the imager in Ozone 9. I'm going to go for a preset. Let's go for Modern Width. Yes, definitely this is far more subtle and far more controllable than all of the other tools. I really like the metering and, and the transparency of the actual image that's being created. So to round things up, definitely consider using a stereo imager when you're in the production phase, when you're in the mix phase, as, as well as in the mastering phase. And you've got different tools to choose from and they operate in very different ways. Some are free, some are native, and some you've got to pay for. But I assure you in the long run, the results will be worth it. Now remember to like the video, comment, and subscribe. Until next time, I'm Deuce, I'm out. Peace.